Coming up on today's episode, I'm showing you some of my favorite high carb, low fat staple meals from this diet I'm doing called the Start Solution. Today it's steak fries and oven roasted squash. Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Dads. I'm Joey. We are a vegan family cooking information channel. If you're transitioning to a vegan lifestyle or if you're just trying to see what uh, other people are doing in this lifestyle, then please hit that like button, show us some love, and please subscribe and become part of the Plant Based Dads family. All right, so if you've been following me on Instagram or uh, here on the channel, then you know over the last few weeks I've been doing uh, a high carb, low fat diet, basically following the starch solution. Um, the starch solution is an idea that where you don't avoid carbs, you actually eat them, whole food, unprocessed carbs, potatoes, that sort of thing, um, and vegetables, and you have very low fat. You limit avocados and you limit uh, nuts and all that sort of thing. This has actually been working well for me and uh, I've lost a bunch of weight and I'm motivated and I'm, I'm stuffed every day, like I'm not starving. It's worked for me. That along with intermittent fasting has really dropped my weight and uh, I've still got like 30 pounds to go, but I know I'm on the right path. So today uh, I'm gonna bring you another video of one of my staple meals. Potato wedges, because I don't want to stay steak fries because I'm a vegan, and one of my favorite side dishes, oven roasted squash. They're really easy to make. Here's how I did it. In the Instant Pot, add the steamer basket that came with it. Add one cup of cold water. Use a fork to pierce the skin of each potato a few times until you have about six to eight potatoes. Put on the cover and lock it into place. Set to the sealing position. Set to pressure cook for 12 minutes. When they're done, put them in a container and refrigerate overnight. They have to get cold. Once they are cold, slice each potato the long way. Then slice each half until you have four slices or wedges. Arrange the wedges on a wire rack in an oven pan until the rack is filled. Sprinkle on some garlic powder, some onion powder, some all-purpose seasoning, some salt, and some fresh ground pepper. Since they are already cooked from the Instant Pot, you're just going to broil them for five minutes to get them browned. After five minutes, remove the pan from the oven, flip over each wedge, and season again with the same spices. Broil again for another five minutes. When they are done, let them cool. Don't they look amazing? For the squash, I cleaned up some yellow and green squash with plant-based produce wash. Make sure to get them good and sudsy. Rinse them and let them dry. Cut the squash into medallions or slices and toss in a bowl. Slice up one onion and separate the onion pieces. The onion slices cause the squash to caramelize in the oven. Toss them in a bowl, add some salt, add some pepper, and fold it all together to combine. Lay out the medallions on the sheet pan with parchment paper. Bake at 425 degrees for 30 minutes, turning them over after 15 minutes. Use a spatula to remove and serve. This is just an amazing plate of food. I mean, look at those potatoes, how beautiful they are. I mean, just the shape of them, the crust on them, and then the squash with the onions. This is just, I mean, basically onions and squash and some spices, that's it. I've got some uh, barbecue sauce here and I've got some, uh, uh, some organic ketchup so I can dip the potatoes in. This is a really healthy meal. There's no oil on it. I can't wait to try this. So this is absolutely one of my favorites. This squash is always so good. It's amazing. Mmm. It's amazing how just putting onions in with the squash just brings out the flavor. And of course, I mean, who doesn't like good fries, right? Potato wedges, I mean, that's a classic. Mmm, so good. Oh man, these are delicious. Do you eat barbecue sauce with your potatoes? I do. I think it goes so well together. Oh, mm-hmm. Guys, when you're eating uh, high carb, low fat, the possibilities are endless. I mean, you can make so many things. It's an opportunity to really fill yourself up with things you really enjoy. When I'm like dieting and lose weight, I'm not eating stuff I don't like. Why would I do that? That sounds horrible. I'm eating stuff I love. And this is a good example of it right here. Have you checked out our merch site yet? Go to Etsy.com uh, and search for plant-based ads, all one word, and up will come all of our merchandise. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, something for everyone. And if you're following uh, Lex's channel, Gamer Awesome 2006, his stuff is there too. Do you guys notice the pergola behind me? 
We built that over the weekend, last weekend, and we put a time-lapse video up on the channel too. It was a monster. We got it at Costco, uh, but I absolutely love it. All right, guys, that's our video for today. Please hit that like button. Show us some love. What's not to like? We got potato wedges. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, become part of the plant-based stats family. It really allows us to make more videos and do what we love doing. And please leave a comment. Are you doing the high carb, low fat diet? Are you doing something else? Are you scared of carbs or just stay away from them? I mean, what's your thoughts on all this? This is working for me. Maybe it's not for everyone, but I'm loving it. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.